Chris, what is our first main topic today? Our first topic comes from Scrimmy Scrim Scram. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's... I have a different one. Oh. Well, yeah, I think oh, I'm on topic that's... four. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, I jumped the gun. We'll this is from Michael Johnson. The reviews for Jordan Peele's latest movie, Nope, were released yesterday with the film. As of this writing of this email, holding an 82% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes from 112 critics. The questions now are how will the audience react when they begin to see the movie tonight, as well as how many will see the film? Most box office analysts are predicting Nope will open between Get Out's 330,000... Oh, 33,377,060 and us is 71,117,625 opening weekends. How big do you think Nope's opening weekend is going to be? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in. And I am very excited for this film. I mean, especially once we were at CinemaCon and they showed us the big reveal trailer that they kept hidden from everybody for another month or so. I That kind of kicked my expectations into overdrive. Again, I love Get Out. I was not big on us, but going into this, I just feel like this is going to be a really good return mm. to that. And I've been excited about it. Now the question is going to be how much money can it make? Like our audiences going to flock out to see this movie. That's the question because getting people to come out to see your movie is kind of what it's all about. I mean, that's the business of film. So how much is it going to make? Well, the folks at Variety give us a pretty good idea. This comes to us from them, and they write, uh, After the breakout commercial success of Get Out, which opened to $33 million and tapped, uh, tapped out with a mighty $176 million domestically, Peel electrified the box office again with 2019's Us, which smashed expectations by debuting to $70 million and ending its North America run with an impressive $175 million. Put simply, movie go goers want whatever... Peel is selling. And again, that comes to us from them. So their expectations right now from what we're hearing is somewhere in between, right? Because I think the reality is that us diminished the automatic excitement if it's a Jordan Peel project a little bit, Ob not entirely, but maybe just a little bit. And so that's why I never thought coming into Nope that we were going to see an $80 million opening or a $100 million opening. I've always thought it would probably be a little bit less than us because I think there were a number of people like me who were a bit disappointed with that. But the fact of the matter is, is that Get Out was not that long ago. And that movie, I mean, emotionally, that movie still resonates with me. I still think about that movie. And because of that, his still name. So I'm going to go $51 million. I believe this is going to have a $51 million opening weekend, which for a project like this is super impressive. So I'm going to go $51 million. Rob, what do you think Nope is going to do? And where's your expectation level for it right now? Oh, I look, I think this film has a, uh, I think a lot of people want to see it. I think it's marketing has been interesting. People want to know what it is. You know, people, obviously it's gotten out that there is aliens, but there's a twist or something. I don't know. I think that more, I think it's going to do well. I don't know if it's going to exceed $70 million. But I'm going to go over 50. You're uh, over 50. I'm going to go over 50. I, you know, uh, call me 65. 65. But it would not okay. surprise me if this totally overperforms. And by the way, I got to give a, I don't know Jordan Peele. I've never met him. I got to give a shout out to him though, because somebody said, to, somebody said, I think it was on Twitter. Oh, the horror thing? Yeah. Yeah. You know, somebody said on Twitter that you're the greatest horror director ever. No, no. They three. said, can we just acknowledge that Jordan Peele is the greatest horror director of all time who puts out three great horror movies in a row yeah. to which Jordan Peele responded. He, 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 he brought up John Carpenter. Yeah. He goes, now, do, do, do not sully John Carpenter's name. Yeah. And <laughs> what's interesting is, there, yeah. And a lot of people are like, well, there's a Sam Raimi and there's, you know, all these people. Well, let me tell you something. John Carpenter is one of my favorite directors and he did. Well, he makes different kinds of genre movies, but the one-two punch of Halloween and The Fog, that was a pretty good run. Yeah. Then, of course, he made Escape from New York and John Carpenter's The Thing after that. But the fact that Jordan Peele would come out and, and bring up, invoke the great horror master himself, that's what he goes by on Twitter, John Carpenter, that was pretty dope. So, but Can I, following up on that, side note, it's a separately related, speaking of people doing something really, really cool on Twitter, there's... For those of you not sports fans, indulge me for a second. There's an athlete by the name of J.J. Watt who is like just a beast. He is a living, walking beast. Uh, like one of the best defensive players in the NFL for a very, very long time. When when uh, the disasters were happening in Texas years ago, like he was one of the big guys that come around and raised tons and millions and millions mm -hmm. of dollars. So anyway, 
there was a tweet that somebody put out that basically said, and I don't know how he found out about it, but basically said, hey, um, I've got a women's J.J. Watts set of Nikes. I'm, I'm willing to sell for like 50 bucks or whatever. And I've got a women's J.J. Watt jersey uh, that I'm willing to sell whatever. You know, grandma passed away. We're just trying to pull together money to pay for the funeral, right? Somebody sends that to J.J. Watt. And he jumps on Twitter, he says, do not sell your shoes, do not sell your jersey, we will cover your grandmother's funeral's cost. I'm almost crying thinking wow. about, like I'm almost weeping thinking about that. It's like, I just, so when like when people, like the celebrities jump online and do like something really cool, but like J.J. Watt is the man. Anyway. He's a sports guy I actually know because he played for the Texans. That's right, yeah. for a very, very long time. He, was, he was great kid. all there. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Wait, wait, hang on a second. Did you just acknowledge knowing something about me? I did. <laughs> Wow. This is a moment. <laughs> this whole day is going to turn out to be. It's the first full day of Comic-Con. Nope is opening. And you're I'm talking aware sports, of sports ball. Wow. <laughs> aware of sports ball. Wow. Anyway, Chris, I mean, you've been looking forward to this movie. I have. What's your expectation level right now? And where do you think it's going to fall as far as opening weekend goes? I do think this is going to do really well. I mean, yes, Us was not the greatest follow up to get out. And honestly, the expectation was set so high. What a high bar to kind of try to have to jump over. But I think they've done such a good job with the marketing campaign with this yeah. film. So we all are just so curious about what even is happening. Is it aliens? Is this all a bait and switch? What is going on? And it's a stacked cast too. I love Kiki Palmer. I'm so glad that she's working so much right now. She's fantastic. Her hot ones is so good. Oh my God. Did you see her on the red carpet? Talk yeah. about hot ones. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> she is gorgeous. She is <laughs> She's so beautiful. brilliant. She is such a great actor. And she's sassy. Um, Steven Yun. I love him so much and I want him to be in pretty much everything. I think he's incredible. Um, and of course, Daniel Kaluuya. I mean, that kind of collaboration coming together. I think this is going to be a 65th Wait, weekend. Are you so brought you both are going to go around 65. Yeah. All right. yeah, you brought up three of the great actors, but can mm -hmm. we talk about the genius of Jordan Peele mm -hmm. casting the awesome Michael Wincott, who does, is one of my favorite character actors in the world. He was, of course, Philo Gant in Strange Days. He was the villain in The Crow. He was in Oliver Stone's talk radio, and he was in What Just Happened with Robert De Niro. Mm -hmm. Man, do I love that guy. And Jordan Peele put him in this movie. Somebody described him as the Captain Quint, whatever that means. <laughs> that's, I think that's a Jaws Ooh. reference, yes. Ooh. No, I know, but, right. but how does how is how is there even a Captain I, Quint? I, the, my guess is character? he's had an experience with aliens before. Yes, something like that. But I was like, I'm in. Mm -hmm. Count, I can't wait to see this movie. Yeah. All right. I, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask Ray. Ray, how much money is this movie going to make opening weekend? <clears throat> With Comic-Con going on this weekend, I'm still going to go higher than all of you guys. Really? I'm just going to pick one of my favorite numbers. 81 million. Wow, so you think it's going to exceed, exceed us. All right. It's it's good. It's not going to, but you know what? I'm just going to throw it out there. 81 million, hoping it does well, hoping it's a good movie, just hoping like a... Uh, we see something good later. Why is right. 81 million one of your favorite so, numbers? Well, oh, 81, it's August it's, 1st, it's, my birthday. Oh. So Now, oh. also, I just want to point out, you all heard it. So if this movie does not hit 81 million opening weekend, Ray is going to wash my car for a month. You all heard it. It's the bet he I, made. I can wash a car. <laughs> hey, I might I lose out on a hot toy this car. weekend, by the way. What's that? I might lose out on a hot toy. I might owe this guy a hot, a hot toy. Well, well I, I got a feeling it's going to be a push. I got a feeling. Anyway, guys, right. question is for you. What do you think Nope is going to make this weekend? Are you looking forward to the movie? What are your expectations? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Hey, guys, we want to take a second and thank the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. You know, in the age of social media, you might think that everybody's life except yours is perfect because everybody always posts the best memories, the most glamorous shots. But you and I both know that's not how life is. We get pitched some serious curveballs, and sometimes it seems like a lot of them. And, you know, we always encourage each other to get out there and to get into better physical health, going to the gym and eating right. But it's about time we started paying more attention to our mental health as well. And that's where our friends at BetterHelp come in. Because you better help is not a crisis line it's not self-help it is professional therapy done securely online available to people worldwide you can log on to your account anytime and send private messages to your therapist or you can schedule weekly or phone only sessions if you're one of those people that's not really comfortable being on camera and getting therapy every week is as easy as just a few clicks on your laptop or phone it is time to invest in your own mental health and better help is a great way to invest in yourself
And right now they have a special offer for all of the John Campy Show listeners to get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash campia. That's 10% off your first month of online therapy at betterhelp.com slash campia.